We are here in Woodstock at the main office of the Canadian Mental Health Association and Oxford Self-Help and we're going to learn about mental health supports and programs here in our county that are delivered in Woodstock, Ingersoll, Tilsonburg and elsewhere. My name is Kathleen Campbell Conlon. I'm the Community Engagement and Volunteer Coordinator here at the Canadian Mental Health Association, Oxford. We provide access to mental health clinicians as well as peer support leaders to give a holistic approach and wrap around people who are living with mental illness or addictions. Our services with Oxford County Walk-In Counseling is helping hundreds of people a year to create a plan so that their wellness is at the forefront of their journey. We're able to support also another couple hundred people with our peer support program, both here in Woodstock and across Oxford County. In total, we're helping a large percentage of our community every single day to live better mentally and in their community themselves. We are so grateful for the support that we receive from United Way Oxford so that we are able to provide Oxford County walk-in counseling free of charge, so that we are able to provide peer support drop-in services on the weekends, which is closing the gap for those who live with isolation so that it's not a long time from Friday to Monday before they can reconnect with their community. My name is Christine Smith and I am a peer support leader here at the Canadian Mental Health Association. So our peer support leaders uh, meet one-to-one -one with um, clients. Uh, we also have our drop-in, uh, which is open to the public, and we also run different support groups that are always changing to meet the needs of our community. So personally, I struggled with bipolar disorder, a rare form of obsessive compulsive disorder and panic disorder, off and on throughout the years from age 14 to age 30 several hospitalizations, different uh, medication, really had to advocate for myself to get uh, the treatment that I needed. I found the Canadian Mental Health Association uh, and got a case manager and I had my case manager for seven years and that really helped me along my journey. Then I became a volunteer with the Canadian Mental Health Association and then uh, even though I was told that I would never work again, I am now working as a peer support leader here at the Canadian Mental Health Association. I am very open with anybody that I meet one-to-one -one with if they want to ask questions about my experience and I find that it makes a stronger connection and I also like the fact that I can give them hope. They can look at me and say, you know what, if you can do it, then I can do it. And it gives me great satisfaction to be able to help people through their journey. It's amazing to see the impact that this community has from services that are available to people free of charge and are available to people who had those barriers, such as transportation or financial assistance. Our community can support us by continuing to partner with the United Way, to donating to United Way Oxford, and to even reach out for help and learn more about our services. It's quite possible that you or someone you know may have a mental health concern, and knowing that there are resources available in our community can help everyone feel better together. It's such an honor for me to work at an agency like this that supports people who may otherwise not have been able to find the support that they need to feel well and to feel better and to thrive in our society and in their life. <laughs>